is clear that this disgruntled youth has an agenda of destroying the party's chances of winning the 2020 election in the Wulinsi constituency. We therefore call on all well-meaning members of the party in the constituency to disregard the claims made in their petition. We are also using this opportunity to call on the constituency regional and national executive to call Alaji Haruna to order the loosened candidate and the just ended MPP parliamentary primaries. It is God who chooses leaders. And leadership is like a stage. Your time will also come. You only need to wait patiently. And when your time comes, you also enjoy. But if you lead people to divide the party just because you were not elected, at the end of the day, when you also get the chance to lead the party, the similar things will be done against your candidate. And that will not help the party grow. We also like to thank Chairman Samba, Chairman Emirates, Chairman Air Condition, Chairman Prefinance, Chairman Buol, for his leadership so far. He has done very well ever since we finished the primaries and the issues that followed. We have managed it well. We would like to thank him for his leadership. Chairman Duol Tepoya. We would also like to thank the President and his Vice President for the various developmental projects brought to the constituency under their able leadership. We assure the President and the leadership of the party that the seat is in safe hands and we shall deliver it to the party on December 7th, 2020. In fact, the conveners for this particular press conference include Yaku Mohammed Razak, Abdul Rahman Rashid, Ankara and City is here with us. We also have 